Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Manor. Lonnie Mattingly here coming to you from our home office and Miss Nancy on the other side of the camera helping me all the way and uh, giving me this when I've, when I've gone over a little bit more than I should. <laughs> That's a good thing. I need all the help I can get. And uh, I, so far this week, we've been talking about studying to show ourselves approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, approved unto God, A-U-G. I want to get my A-U-G degree as I study the Word of God, as I'm in the school of scriptures. I want God to help me to be a growing Christian and get the Word of God in my life. On Monday, we talked about committing your life to God's program for winning the lost. Number On Tuesday, we talked about get godly counsel for the decisions of your life. And then on Wednesday, we talked about uh, don't allow opposition to stop you. And uh, we went into all three of those things in some in some detail and gave ser several scriptures. And today, I want you to think with me on this subject. How about this one? Honor your preacher. We're talking, I want to be approved unto God. Now, God put a man of God in your church where you're supposed to be showing up week after week, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, or any other special meetings, unless hindered by circumstances beyond your control, be in your place, doing what you're supposed to. I know everybody takes vacations occasionally, and people get sick, and, and other emergencies might show up, but, but the truth of the matter is, for the most part, a good Christian who loves God makes a way to be faithful to God's house uh, most all of the time. And so I just want to encourage you to honor your preacher by showing up. He has studied for hours. He's put things together. He's tried to come up with the uh, illustrations that, that you can relate to. He wants to help you and see you grow in grace. Don't, don't give me a, some sad story about whatever. Just say, by the grace of God, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to, uh, God's not looking for excuses. He's looking for obedience. That, that's that's very, and he said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is. And Sunday's coming now. Sunday, here we are on Thursday, but Sunday's coming. And so just go ahead and make that decision right now. Uh, and so talking about honoring your preacher, being willing to sit under his ministry, listen carefully, open your Bible and, and read it and follow along and make notes and, and, uh, and pray for the preacher and let God use you. The Bible says this in Hebrews chapter number 13. Just if you have your Bible or jot this down in Hebrews chapter 13, verse number seven, he says this, remember them that have the rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Now I've pastored for well over 50 years, pastor and assistant pastor and in evangelism and which we're, that's where we are right now in evangelism. Um, we've had some wonderful meetings and met a lot of folks this, this year already, but I'm looking forward to being home when my preacher's preaching. I want to hear him. I want to, and I want to make an application in my own life. I want to be willing and open that if God speaks to my heart to hit that altar and pray and ask God to help me to be an obedient Christian, not to the preacher. He's up there giving me God's message. I want to be obedient to God. And so honor your preacher, uh, those who, and others who are in spiritual leadership and authority. And, and we talked about one time getting godly advice, getting godly counsel. Well, there's some people that are more than willing to share for, from their life experience to help you have victory in your life. Listen to this one, Hebrews 13, verse number seven, obey them which have the rule over you, submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give an account. So you see that the folks, they have to give an account about this matter. It's not a matter of they're doing it just to be Lord over you and run your life and ruin your life and, and all that kind of thing. They have a command from God to do what they're doing. And they've searched the scriptures and they've sought God's will and God's plan and God's message for a particular service. And then they give that message to the best of their ability and uh, with, with passion and, and with a heartache and want to see people get their lives changed and be encouraged and have success and be victorious in their Christian walk. And so when he says, obey them that have the rule over you, and I said a similar thing in the earlier verse, that doesn't mean that he's a ruler, like he's sitting on some kind of potentate, sitting on a big throne and, and telling everybody what they have to do. No, it's a rule. I wish I had a ruler out here with me. He's, he takes that ruler and he holds it over you. He, he shows you what's expected, 12, 12 inches to a foot, and he holds that rule up. 
And he says, now, are you, are you lining up? Are you, are you measuring up to what you ought to be for the Lord Jesus Christ? It's that kind of rule. He, he's, not, he's not a dictator that can tell you what you have to do. He is a preacher of the word of God sharing with, with you what God said he wants you to do, what you ought to do. And that's where we have that wonderful opportunity to obey them that have the rule over me. And then in Hebrews 13, 24, he said this, all three of these in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7, verse 17, and verse 24. Salute all them that have the rule over you, and all the saints, they of Italy, salute you. Listen, God said, I want you to have a heart that's open to receive the message that, the, that I put in the preacher's heart to preach to you. Now, if some preacher starts preaching heresy or, or goes off chasing uh, all kinds of things, going off in all directions, uh, then, okay, maybe you need to have a counseling session with him and say, preacher, I don't understand what we're talking about here and, and get the help that you need. Uh, for And maybe he needs to get some counsel as well. That's okay. That happened. No, there's not a just man on earth that doeth good and sinneth not. All we like sheep have gone astray. Everybody makes mistakes along the way. But the Lord laid on Jesus the iniquity of us all and paid our sin debt and we can have forgiveness. We get back on track. We can accomplish something. Look, God's not looking for people that he can toss away. God's looking for people that he can change, that he can help, that he can bless, that he can use to carry out his will and his commission in their life to reach a dying world for Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you'll do that. Get it in your heart. Get it in your mind. Let me encourage you to hit that, that follow button there and, uh, and become a subscriber. Just hit subscribe and, uh, and hit the thumbs up or, or hit a, hit a heart or hit an angry face. That's okay. If, if you have an angry, if, if, if I make you mad, that's all right. But let God use you to be a blessing as well. Share this with somebody. Hit that share button and let others that know you know what you are listening to. And maybe it'll be an encouragement to them as well. Heavenly Father, I do pray you'll use us. We thank you for your love and blessing. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen.